Hi, my name is Michael Kresma, and I'm a mechatronics technology engineer here at Festo. And in today's video, we'll be going over how to set up an HMI screen inside our CDPX using Designer Studio. As you can see here, we have our Designer Studio software set up. We'll go over the toolbars as well as the project windows to the left and to the right hand side. So what we see here first is the file tab where we can see other projects that was created, our edit tab, our run tab. One thing to keep note is if you are using a brand new HMI, you want to go to manage target and make sure to update the package and update and install the runtime. Formatting, this will change the formatting of your screen. Views will see different type of windows pop up for you. Windows is if there's different types of windows and your help screen. So for this project, we'll do a file and we'll hit new and we'll say CDPX demo. And what we'll do is we'll hit next here. We will select the HMI that you'll be using. For this case, we'll be using the CDPX X-B-7. You can change the different orientations of it but for this one we'll just keep it standard and we'll hit next here we'll also see our different project templates that we can have we can have unified native and web and custom majority of the times we'll just be using unified so we'll stick with that we'll hit finished here so this is our design screen right here for when we'll want to add different buttons but let's look on the left hand side at our project view and look at the different options that we have here we have Project properties, if we double click on this, you can see that we'll be able to see the different type of project selections. Um, this will be able to choose the width, the height, any of the project availabilities. We can drag this over to see a little bit more information. We can go to see if we wanted to add different pages. Right now we just have one page, but if we insert a new page, we can add a second page as well. We'll just stick with one for this project. Um, dialogue templates, so if you wanted to add a new dialogue or new templates, we can do that as well. Here we'll see this is our configuration portal where we'll see our different type of protocols we'll have. We'll play with this once we go over everything else. Uh, when we go to our tags, this is where we're going to be able to import our tags from our PLC and be able to link those to our buttons and icons on our screen. We'll go to trends. So if you wanted to do trending, if you wanted to do any reporting, alarms, event buffers, scheduler, if you wanted to have multi-language, you can select multi-language. If you wanted to have a screensaver, you can have a screensaver, database links, data transfers, interfaces, which will means we can either go with OPC UA, MQTT um, for any type of information that we want to pull from the cloud. Security, if we do this, we'll be able to see the different type of user groups that we have, as well as users and the audit trail. We have a recipes folder, so if you wanted to create recipes, you can do that here. Dictionaries will be for other type of variables that you wanted to add that are particular to a certain project. And keypads, so these are the different type of keypads we can use, alphabet, calendar, and numeric. So for this project, what we want to do is we'll look on the right hand side, you'll see properties, and there's also this button called the widget gallery. The widget gallery will be able to show us all the different things that we can add to our screen. So for this one, it's our, just our basic, and if you expand this out, you can see different shapes, clocks, trend graphs, and so forth, recipes, schedulers, alarms, controls, textures, JS functions, generic canvas, tables, audit tables, tabs, stacks, and charts. You'll also notice too that we are just in the basic, but if we click on these other buttons, we can also go to buttons as well as be able to see different variations of these buttons. And this works for everything else that we have here. So we have meters, different type of meters, switches, we have different types of switches, again, switching into this type of switch. If you wanted to do a vertical or horizontal, you can do that as well. Going to our different lights or our LEDs that we can use, standard and simple, as well as different type of medias, advance, control list, data source, editors, icons, factory automation, motors, 
as well as all these different type of other options that we have, as well as user widgets that you can import in. But for this instance, we're just going to use a single button. We'll drag this onto the screen here, as well as a light that will also drag onto the screen here. That we can snap all these on together. Perfect. And we'll just do it like that. Um, on our main page, you'll be able to see that we have these different type of functionalities too as well. Zooming in, zooming out, fit the page, deleting, grouping things together, um, as well as rotations. If you wanted to have different layers, we can do that as well. If you wanted to arrange different things, so if you wanted to select this, you can see that we can make them both the same size, space them evenly across, we can do that. Um, as well as all these other options too, framing, fill in the color, needle thumb, and so forth. But for this, this is what we have right now. For our PLC side, I created a small project inside Festival Automation Suite for our PLC. Here we have a single light button, light but or sorry, excuse me, we have a single button that will be controlling the light. So anytime I push this button on, this light will turn on. So for instance, if I were to write this value, my light would turn on. And if I were to turn it off, I would turn that off. In order to create the variable tags list, we need something called the simple con the symbol configuration. The symbol configuration done by right clicking on application, disconnect real quick, by right clicking on application, going to add object, and then adding the symbol configuration. I already added mine, so that's why it was not shown in that list, but it, once you add this object, it'll be here if it's not already added to your project. Once your symbol, creation, symbol configuration, what you want to do is you want to highlight the tags that you want to bring over. So for me, I want to bring over my button and I want to bring over my light. So I selected both of them. Once they are both selected, you want to hit build. And then once build is done, you want to go to your menu and you want to go to generate code. Once you generate the code, that'll create the XML. Well, it'll start the process for creating the XML file. Once you hit generate code and that's been completed, the next and final step in our automation suite for our PLC side is to save the project. So once we save the project, then we'll be able to find the XML file for our uh, HMI project. The next thing that we need to do inside our HMI project is to, uh, is to set up the protocol. So we'll go to protocol here, we'll hit the plus button, and you'll notice that we have different options right here. For us, we'll be using Codesys V3. And once we hit that, we'll see this window pop up. And what we want to do is we want to type in the address of the PLC. So mine is 192.168.4.10. So once that is done, we have set that up. Now we can go into our tag section. Once we are in our tag section, we can go to import dictionary right here. We'll want to go with the linear. We want to hit OK. And we want to find the project that we are working on. So for me, I'll go to my desktop and it would be under CDPX demo. One second. PX test right here. Double click on that. You want to go into tools, double click this one, and you'll notice that this is the XML file that I created. Once I hit open, it'll have a little pop-up window that says two tags added, and I hit OK. So once I hit my import tags, these two will, will pop up my X button and X light. As you can see here, they are kind of faded out. So what I'll want to do is I want to add those to my project by doing by selecting both of them and importing my tags. Now you'll see that they are both no longer gray and are more full of color, and I'll be able to use these for my project. So what I'll do here is I'll move back to my page tag, and for this one, I'll select my button, and what I wanna do is I want to go to my value, 
hit the plus button and select button. For my LED, I'll do the same thing, go to value, hit my plus button and hit light. Now my project is completely set up with my buttons being linked to my tags. Next I'll do is I'll hit my run button and I'll download to target. I'll select the HMI that I have, 198.168.4.20 and hit download. We'll wait for this to download. As you can see, it's processing these values over, copying, moving the projects, the the files that we've just made for this project over to our over to our HMI right now. As we can see on our HMI screen, we have our two, uh, we have our button that we created from our project. So we have our button and our light. So if I were to press that button, you can see that it now turns on. If I release it, it turns off. And that's the entire project. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.